So last week we uh, read an email uh, from our friend Matt, mm-hmm. who's no longer anonymous. Yeah, yeah, he said we could put his name on the article. So thanks, so, Matt. Uh, we really did appreciate it because the points in it were good. Good. Yeah, they, absolutely. They posed good questions, mm-hmm. man. So out of that, um, <clears throat> one of the things I felt really challenged by is, uh, and I and I got it here. So just as a, a refresher, um, one of the, it, towards the end of uh, the article, how well can you we how well can you actually know someone who you see on a weekly basis? Are you really uh, getting to know about a brother or sister's deepest struggles in a two minute chat after or every other Sunday? No wonder there's uh, no church discipline. Now, one of the things that I felt really challenged by this in is like, you know, you and I, uh, I mean, we do a weekly podcast. So uh, we engage, I mean, we talk more than just on the podcast right, I mean, throughout right. the week. So really, you know, it's, it's several times a week we, we talk. And, you know, even on the podcast, like it's not uh, – surface level stuff. I mean, we talk about good things, but, um, I was, uh, out running today and I just really felt like, man, what if, right? Like what if, um, I guess let me back up. Okay. So <laughs> okay. to develop relationships, uh, it takes time. It takes effort. And, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna know someone's deepest, darkest secret. You're not going to know that. And I don't think no. that that is, I don't think that that should be the expectation, right? Like, no. Uh, and I don't even think, um, in a, like a, a, a relationship like this, I don't know that that is necessary. Right? No, I, like, I don't, you know, no, I mean? I'm, I'm going to jump in with that too. Uh, nowhere in scripture do we see that. Like, Hey, you're supposed to tell your deepest, darkest secrets to your brothers and sisters. And I don't know that that's necessarily his point, right? So, right. To be fair, right. I don't think that that's his point. I'm just simply saying that, um, that is not my aim. Right. Okay. C- my aim. Okay. Good. Can you have that relationship with someone where yes. you, in fact, do tell your deepest secrets? Absolutely. Cool. No Gravy. Problem. That's good for you. Yes. That's dope. Yeah. And there's no. So it's. I'm. I don't know that that was necessarily his point. I think he was talking about just that level of friend, friendship, mm. fellowship. Um. You know, to some degree, you might say intimacy. And I think it's important to have uh, people in your life that <clears throat> that you can that you know love you that you, that you can confess to and and all of those things. I sure. that is vitally important. Um, that being said, though, um, I think that there are times, particular, and, and I'm gonna speak to men because I'm a man, and I I think it's applicable to anyone, but for men to engage one another. And, Mm -hmm. and what I mean by engage one another is not just the surface level conversation, not just the, Hey, how you doing? Okay. And the reason I say that is because it's so easy to not engage on that deeper level. And one of the, not fears, but one of the things that, um, I don't want to have happen is, is to get a call from you or any, any of, you know, that are in the circle, right. Um, Hey man, I have blown my life up. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, my wife and I are we're done. We've decided that we're gonna get a divorce or um, you know, I'm leaving my wife. Any of those things, right? right? I don't wanna get that call and then immediately like obviously I'm heartbroken for that individual, but immediately after that conversation think, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. I did not know that. I didn't know I maybe I knew that they were struggling because, you know, uh of some passing by conversation, right? Some quick little, yeah, man, we're struggling or my wife's ticking me off or whatever it is. Um, I don't want to get that and think, man, I wish I would have engaged. Right. right. And I think that it, it's so easy to have the casual conversations. And I would say that, man, like you are without a doubt, one of the best friends I've ever had in my life. And as I'm evaluating these things, uh, you know, out on my run, I'm thinking, man, you know, there needs to be a checklist or, or like Absolutely. a check in a check up. You know, I don't know what you, you can call it, whatever you want, yeah. but where we're getting to the meat and potatoes mm-hmm. of what's going on. Right. <clears throat> and I, and I like when you pitch that, uh, to me, um, cause you met me and you were like, man, I want, I want, I got like an, like a segment thing that I want to, I want to run by you. 
and it's this, you know, this like that we should be meaning that we should be, um, developing a relationship. And that doesn't mean, um, hanging out, telling jokes. Those are all good things. Those, yeah, those, absolutely. those make friends, yes. but we're, we're Christians. We are brothers in Christ. We have to dig very deep right. to get at, Man, what's ailing you? What's ailing? Mm-hmm. What is what is the issue, man? Right. And I don't know that stuff until you bring it to the surface. Right. Um, and so <laughs> it is that discussion, that right. agitating, right? Sure. Trying to dig it up. Um, but that means that's intentional. Yeah. That's what that means. And that's yeah. that's uncomfortable. Sure. Uh and part of the problem too, uh, is that in in some ways it is unsolicited, right? In some ways. Right, right. Now, I do think that <laughs> as men and as people, but again, I'm speaking to the men here, that we need to develop those relationships where we can go to that in that individual because it's not going to be a lot of guys. I I mean, it's not. It's not. No. Um, but go to that individual or those individuals and say, "Look, you you have a seat at my table. So you nothing, right?" per se is off limits, man. Right. Nothing. If you ask me, you know, if you want to do this, you know, spiritual welfare check or whatever it is, you know, part of the deal is I've got to a, be open to that. B I've got to be honest, 100% honest, right? Because it's not good if I'm not going to be honest, right? Because right. that's what we do in those surface levels relationships. Hey, how you doing? Well, you know, truth of the matter is, is I just got in a raging fight with my wife last night. My kids were acting up this morning. You know, the the my job's, you know, a mm-hmm. pain in the butt and my dog's, you know, doing whatever dogs do. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like it's not good, honestly, but I don't say that. So we've got to be honest. Um, it is, again, it's uncomfortable from the other side of it too, because it's, it's unsolicited, right? And like... I didn't, if you're not asking for my advice, right? Like, am I? I'm not trying to interject myself. Right. In your that life. means that means you just are being the approacher and going, yeah. What's 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 going on, man? Right. I'm asking you. I'm dead. I'm seriously asking you what's going on. Right. And and I don't think that this is a thing that um, we need to like. There could be flags, like red flags that you're like, oh man, I wonder yeah. about this guy. Certainly. And so that might provoke that conversation. Certainly. Right, but I don't know that I would say that that is absolutely necessary. Right, I, right. Don't don't just wait on those red flags. Mm-hmm. Right, you you your opening statement is I don't ever want to get a phone call that's from you, Joseph, and you say me, Shay and I are splitting up, and you go I had I had no idea. What are you talking about? Right, right, yeah, right. Like and 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 could you? So I I obviously would be hurt by that. I would be hurt for you. But I would be hurt by that too in that – and disappointed in myself because, man, I never engaged. But, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to be pushy. And I think that that's the biggest excuse is mm. – the biz, biggest excuse that we're going to get from people is, man, I just – I didn't want to be pushy. I didn't want to – you know, it's none of my business. And that's – so I approach you with this idea. And yeah. so then it's kind of like, okay, we're going to go through this, right? right? Um, and that's how I felt – Initially, was like, gosh, I, so here, I well, want people yeah. to. So for the listeners, uh, but. for the listeners to to kind of to, I want them to appreciate what's really going on. So Chris called me, was like, man, I want to meet you. They want to talk. I have a, like a segment idea, and I think Chris is just pitching a segment idea of like, oh, discipling one another, sharpening that iron, making sure it's mm-hmm. contact, and and you know what's that look like? And I'm like, I don't know. And and then Chris proceeds to do that to me. Mm-hmm. He does a inventory with me. How are you doing? Where are you at spiritually? Like, just checking in. Right. Dude, and let me just stop there and say, <clears throat> also, why we don't wait for the red flags. Right. Right? Yeah. Um, because for one, there, someone could be hiding. You, you don't know. Right. And so uh, we need to be more thorough. We, we need to, man, love one another. Right. Love. Right. We, we know we're in the flesh, so you can promise that we're all going through some Crap. Sure. Big or small. Right. Right. Absolutely. And so to intentionally have a circle, a tight circle that mm-hmm. you can go, all right, guys, we're we're tight. Know that we're gonna check in on each other once in a while and, and maybe everything's good. That mm-hmm. that's that's yeah, a sweet check in. Um I'm not gonna wait for flags. Right. I'm going to what once uh whatever that looks like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna check in. And right. and I expect some let's <laughs> 
Let's get to the questions that are uncomfortable. Let's right. do a check. Maybe something pops up. Maybe it doesn't, and and that's fine. So, yes. Yeah, so, so a couple of the questions, and again, I, I think that there is a. Obviously, this is not you know uh, some set and and set in stone thing. I think that what we're ultimately trying to understand is where an individual is spiritually. We want to understand, right? Um, you know, and, and again, what does that look like? Well, I think obviously time in the word, time in prayer, mm-hmm. you know, fellowshipping and, you know, listening for God's leading in their life. Okay. Uh, there's that. The other thing is, is there a sin issue present in your life right, that is right. hindering your relationship with God and affecting or impacting your mm-hmm. relationship with others? Right, that, it, yeah. that is impacting that mission because we're all on mission. Right. So getting to the heart of it, really. That's so. That's what we're trying to understand is is where are you at spiritually? Because that impacts mm-hmm. everything. Yes. So, yeah, so that's the checkup. That's the point. And th- and that's what Chris and uh, I mean ultimately this is your idea, man. I love it. So I'm, I'm I can't say Chris and I, but what we're no, trying to do is, is us. what we're trying to do is we're trying to call the men and be intentional with this. Yes. It starts with this, right? Absolutely. Iron sharpens iron. Mm-hmm. So do it. Right. Make contact. Um, be intentional with that. Check, check in on one another. Don't, mm-hmm. it's too easy for us to sit back and get spiritually fat and lazy and just go, I'll just wait for the red flags. Or, well, you know, it, when Chris is, someone's bothering him, he'll come tell me. Sure. And that's, what? that, that's how we all operate. <clears throat> and, and I am saying that we cannot, but I'm also saying that, that it takes time to develop that relationship. Like sure. that relationship, that checkup is not something that I would do with just anyone. Nope. Right. And that's because part of it is it has to be, there has to, it's a two way deal, right? Like it can't just be me intruding into your life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, and right. you have your off limits to mine. Like that's not how that works. Right. There has to, and a part of that is just because, and I, and, and maybe, how men are wired in a sense that like trust is a, is a serious issue mm-hmm. and, and that's to everyone. But like, I, uh, if I am vulnerable, you know, in a sense uh, about something in my life, you know, to be able to return that now, not that that's an obligation, but at the same time, like, Hey man, I put my shield down a little bit, right? you know, right. Uh, I, I, I need to see that you're, you're in that too. Right that you're willing to put your shield down and, and get a little vulnerable to it. And again, we're not talking about playing patty cakes and, and, you know, sharing our heart. That's not what we're talking about. We're getting to the meat and potatoes of the business. Right. Right. We're trying to sharpen. Right. That that's, that's what the, when I say be intentional, know what the purpose of this is. It's Mm -hmm. not to get together and go, Oh man, I, I, I'm slacking on my, I'm bulking and trying to put on muscle. Okay, that's fine, but that's not what we're here to discuss, man. We're right. we're talking about spiritual stuff. Where are you at spiritually? Right. This, right. That's what we're getting at. Mm-hmm. All the other. That's fine. That's small talk. If you need that to get the juices flowing before we dive in and start sure. pricking each other's hearts, by all means. You right. didn't warn me though. You just jumped in and started yeah. asking my questions. <laughs> well, I think uh, you know, and one, I think on a couple of the questions, I I was kind of like, okay, on a scale of one to ten, but you can't say seven. I uh, know. Like, right. And and I've heard of that. I don't know if you've heard that, but it's like people that do that. It's seven it's is safe. like the safe right. I'm a seven. Yeah. Okay. You can't use seven. Stop it. <laughs> Six point nine. I don't know. Yeah. Um, no, it was fun too. Chris, Chris. The only warning I got was Chris goes. All right. So I'm 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 going to ask you these questions. But I want you to take note of how you emotionally feel while we're doing this. I'm like, oh, yes. what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Um, <laughs> But I do appreciate that note because here's the note. We can now stand to the listeners and say, mm-hmm. um, here's what you can expect. That's right. why yes. we took notes of this little <laughs> experiment, but <laughs> fruitful. Um, I got to be honest. When Chris approached me with well, not how you doing, how's your back squat, like none of that garbage, how's work doing, it's where are you at spiritually. Like you just you dive into it. Um, man, like my heart sunk. Like I got short of breath and I got anxious because – now this is my case because maybe someone else you might check in and they're they're fine for that month mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, but I had something going on in my life, mm-hmm. and so I was like, "Gosh, like Chris is gonna bring this out, and like I'm not ready to to talk about it." Right. Um, but anyhow, but le- before I continue any further, let me just say, Chris, I love you. You're my brother. Yeah. Uh, my gosh, man, great, great husband, great worker. 
Uh, great podcaster, great, <laughs> I don't know but a better friend that. there is none. Uh, because there is some fruit that I got tonight, and it's man, it was it was through you. Well, like, praise God, a- I mean, absolutely, man. So at the beginning, if if the listeners remember at the beginning of the podcast, I said I'm doing good, uh, mm-hmm. and and here's why. So Chris had had done his little experiment, began his <laughs> little check in with me, and and. No warning. I mean, we just we dug into it, right? And and it didn't come up right away. Mm-hmm. It, it took some digging, right? Um, but truth be told, I had something bothering me, and I needed uh, to deal with it to cut its just fat, ugly head off. And and I and I do want to dive into it a little bit just for the listeners. Um, and I, I do not mean to embarrass my wife. I I don't want to do that. Um, but this is a real thing that happened, and and I it's an experience I think we can learn from, mm-hmm. and so. I want to share in that, man, because uh, it it would have continued. I don't know for how long, but it would have continued had mm-hmm. you not approached me out of love. I mean, sure. that's what that was. Sure. So, and and let me say this, Chris, if you had done surface level questions, I probably wouldn't have dealt with it. It would have right. just kept going. So mm-hmm. it you had to dig deep. You had to get uncomfortable sure. and ask a question and and – hope for the best maybe yeah but the intentionality (laughs) on your part too though in understanding that when we approach this inventory or this 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 checkup like our shield's got to go down yes right and we've got to to be 100 percent honest because and and that can only be developed through intentional relationships and and you know that i love you man you know Mm. that whatever you need i'm gonna I'm going to be there for you because you're important to me, man. Yeah. And so anything that I say to you now, it might be direct and it might hurt a little bit, but you know where that's coming from mm-hmm. and vice versa. So that is vitally important in engaging in this. Yes. Uh, because I can't imagine being in Chris's shoes, asking these questions and thinking, man, Joseph might like lash back or something. I, I would believe that you thought, it's not going to be that way because that's not the relationship we have. Sure. It, I, I, I know exactly. I know you well enough that if you were approaching me with something, that I wouldn't be like, man, Chris is being no. No, I know that Chris has approached us out of love for some reason. But I had some apprehension and some <laughs> – I was a little anxious in that, man, like – no, nah, I didn't. I'm talking think to the toughest dogs, say, brother. Is yeah. what? <laughs>